What's up everybody? Welcome to my show, My Personal Chef, or I'm your personal chef. I'm Chef Thomas. Today on my show, I'm cooking up a super crunchy meal. With my pepper seed crunchy tilapia, it's so good. No, it's crazy good. Before I get started, I'm gonna wash my hands. Now, let's get started on the tilapia. I have two fillets of skinless tilapia. Whenever you buy any type of fish or tilapia, make sure the tilapia smell like the ocean. If it have any fishy smell to it or has slime to it, don't get it because it can make you sick. So now, I'm about to season my tilapia with some salt and pepper. I like coarse ground black pepper, of course. It tastes better to me. On both sides, I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side. Just like that. So now, let's get started on the coating part of the dish. In this dish, I'm going to add in my cornmeal, my pumpkin seeds, and my parsley, and a little bit of salt and pepper. In this dish, I'm going to add in my eggs, a little bit of water, to make a nice little egg wash. And in this dish, I'm going to add in my flour with some salt and pepper. So, let's get started. Flour to this one. Just like that. So now I have my tilapia, what I cut up earlier today. So I'm gonna take one piece of tilapia, what I cut up, dip it in the flour. Now the reason why you want to dip it in the flour first, because if you just um dip your fish into the egg wash, it's just going to wash off the um, cornmeal mix. So now we're going to dip it into the egg um, wash, just the glue, and now to the pumpkin seeds. One hand for wet, one hand for dry. Easy clean. I've already preheated my oil to 345 degrees. So now we're about to fry up my wonderful crusted tilapia with that nice, good pumpkin seeds. So now I'm just going to get one of them and drop them in this grease. So get that silver to how you want it. I came up with this recipe because I like pumpkin seeds and I like cornmeal. So I said, I wonder how well both of these taste. And now, I'm showing the recipe with y'all. So good. Now Just like that. While my fish is cooking away, getting it nice and golden brown, let's get started on my lime butter sauce. In this pan of a very, very low heat, I'm going to add in my diced chilled butter, a little bit of parsley, and my lime juice. So, let's get started. Now, I'm gonna give it a taste and make sure you don't need no salt and pepper too. You might need some salt too. It's perfect, no salt or no pepper. So now, let's check on my fish. Oh, look at it, it's so golden brown. Let my fish cook just for about another minute. I want it to be that really, really dark golden brown. So 
now to put up this wonderful dish. Now, I chose mashed potatoes in my side dish. If you don't want to use that, you can use vegetables, whatever you want to use. It's totally up to you. Don't that look good? So now, let's give it a try. Oh, super, super crunch. I can't wait to try it. The seeds really does give it that extra crunch like I told you in the beginning of the video. I'm Chef Thomas. If you like any of my cooking videos, please log on to youtube.com and type in 4596 Thomas and subscribe to my page. You can order my cooking book, My Personal Chef, at authorhouse.com and amazon.com. And remember, I'm your personal chef and see you next time.